uh, I guess get an update on on Brody and um, his status, um, where he's at, and what you've seen from him this week, and where he'll play. Yeah, look, obviously there's a fair bit of talk about Brody, but you know the plan hasn't changed. You know he's he's working incredibly hard in his game. Uh, we've given him some forward exposure last week at VFL level, which we're really encouraged about. Um, we don't have to pick our team for a couple of days, so we'll get through our main training session today, um, assess how things are going, um, and then pick our team accordingly. You know, he's in the mix, um, he's progressing well, and as I've said all along, we think this combination will work in time. So you haven't, yeah, yeah, sounds like you haven't made up your mind. Like he, there is a small chance he could play against the Tigers, or yeah, look, we're really open-minded. Um, you know, we, as we've said, we, we love the ruck combination and what we're trying to do is get a, a bigger impact uh, when either of the ruck are forward or centre and, and Brody's a big part of that. Um, so look, yeah, we'll continue to monitor and progress it and, and see what we think, but we don't have to pick our team for a couple of days, so we'll, we'll make that decision the, the next couple of days. What did you like from his, I guess, forward craft in the... VFL game um, at Coburg or, like, or what did you want him to improve on? Yeah, just the synergy of how he works with forwards um, ahead of the ball and um, he's got a, a greater understanding. You can just see with the extra time that he spent down there, um, you know, the synergy and the ability to impact with patterns was there and not only that, his ability to impact the scoreboard. You know, he had four shots at goal. Um, he looked lively at times and I think that's only going to get better and um, you know, this isn't just a short-term thing. This is about getting better at both short-term and long-term. So, um, you know, all along we've said we think this, this can work and we're going to, you know, work incredibly hard to make sure it does. And Simon, just from a selection committee point of view, any one pull up saw from the weekend? Obviously, you've got Harrison Paddy who's a test for the next coming days, but is that kind of the only injury matter that you've got to weigh up uh, at training? Yeah, it is. And we're really confident with Harrison. We think he'll be right to play. You know, everything suggests that his training over the weekend and everything he's done early in the week would suggest he's going to be fine to play and he'll be available for selection. So, um, you know, he's one guy that we'll be looking to get back into our team pretty quickly. What kind of, I guess, when you've, you kind of speak about Brody and how he's certainly in the mix, what kind of pressure do you want to kind of have internally on the forwards that did play against Adelaide last week, like Ben Brown, um, and you've got Jacob Van Ruin um, as well, and then obviously you know, always want to be getting the best out of Max. But what kind of pressure are you after from guys in the VFL like Brody, like Max Jefferson, um, like Tom McDonald, that can put on those more senior guys? Yeah, look, competition for spots is high, especially you know now in that in that part of the ground. You know, obviously putting um, Jake Melksham in and Christian Petrarca are both travelling well. That increases selection pressure for a whole range of different forwards and. Um, you know, we're obviously encouraged by what the forward line's been able to do in recent weeks, but we still think we've got work to do and, and can still make it better. So, um, you know, we're going to leave no stone unturned in making it better. And, and part of that process is a little bit of personnel, but it's how we move the ball as well. And there's a lot, lot that goes into it. And we feel like we're on the right path with it. Um, but we certainly want to make sure that we can win contests and defend accordingly um, the right way as well. So um, selection is, is tight. Um, but we are going to continue to look at personnel to make our method better. And this Sunday, five games to go, uh, up against a, a side that's really pushing for a top eight spot. But you guys, you're back in reaching distance this week for to go up another spot inside the top four. How important is it this, these last five weeks and, and maybe namely Sunday's game? Oh, it's just a great time of the year. Um, you know, five games to go, everyone's fighting for something. Um, you've got a team with Richmond, they won six out of their last eight, four out of their last five that are playing great footy that are fighting for a spot in the finals and, and we're fighting for one as well. So um, you've got two teams on a Sunday afternoon at the MCG with a pretty vocal crowd. It's going to be a great game of footy with, with lots, uh, lots to play for and stakes are high and it's a, it's a great time of the year to be playing your best footy. You, you've had eight games to probably notice what Richmond have done under Andrew McWalter. What's probably been the biggest difference since he's taken the reins at Hunt Road? Yeah, look, they haven't changed too much in terms of their, their method. They still play, you know, really high transition, you know, fast offence type of game. Um, but there's no doubt they're a little bit smaller ahead of the ball. They've got a little bit more experience in and around contest areas and through the middle of the ground. So they're playing some really exciting footy. You know, they're, they're certainly back to their best and got a lot of their senior players playing some really strong footy. So, um, you know, they're certainly going to be a real tough challenge for us. We're, we're looking forward to it. It's going to be a great game. They probably 
had the better of us at times on Anzac Eve earlier in the year. So, um, you know, we're going to have to be right at our best. We've seen Cozzy Pickett starting in the middle. Is that, do you, do you see him sort of getting a bit more time in there even when, hopefully, when Clayton Oliver comes back? Yeah, look, we think we've added a lot of variety to our midfield group and, and Cozzy's a part of that and that will stay. You know, we want to have some high rotation through the middle of the ground and it's it's not only Cozzy, it's, you know, Christian Petrarca getting through there at times. We've got, um, you know, Thomas Barrow and James Jordan that have certainly stepped up, you know, without Clayton's, uh, you know, with his absence being in the midfield. So um, we feel like we've got some really good depth through the middle of the ground and we're going to continue to utilise that and, and Cozzy's a big part of that. How is Clayton going? Yeah, look, he's progressing well. Um, you know, we're probably in that round 21, round 22. We're not going to put an exact timeline on it, um, but he's he's definitely progressing well. He's doing a lot of our full training now, um, and we're confident that he's not that far away. So um, he's still got a lot of important work to get through, but we're hopeful that in the next two to three weeks that he'll be putting his hand up for selection. You say he's in full training. Is Like, and you've spoken about him, I guess, reaching full speed, is he sort of hit that marker of full speed and just integrating into full training sort of thing? Or is he still at a lesser percentage of that full speed? Yeah, look, they're the things we're still working through. We've got to get him up to making sure he's really comfortable um, hitting those markers. So um, part of that process is putting him back into training and, and making sure he's feeling really confident in the way that he's going. And I so there's no actual timeline on when that will take place, but you know, both Clayton and the high performance team will know when his body's right to go. And at that point, um, we'll have a fit Clayton Oliver and he'll be back playing footy.